Welcome yeah. guys. In this video, I am going to show you how to get a current user information in a SAP and framework web port using PNPJS library in a very simple way. So let's start our coding. So first of all, I am going to open a Windows Puzzle. The Windows Puzzle will create a new folder for our project. So I am creating current user uh, web port folder for, uh, for our project and navigating to that. So after that, I am going to use a yeoman generator, yeoman command for generating our project structure. So already I have installed a SAP point framework version v1.7. So based on that, we are going to create a project. So under yeoman command slash SAP point, this will generate a project structure for the SAP point framework report. Okay, it will add some inputs. So first of all, we'll give those inputs for creating the project structure. Okay, so leave it as it is. This is the current folder. Then I'm going to give uh, n no for this option. No, and then report. The report name, current user info. This is the report for our, uh, this is the name for our report. Okay, and then we are going to use no JavaScript framework. So because we are going to create a simple web part, so I think there is no need for the, the React or other JavaScript frameworks. So it will uh, downloading record files and installing for uh, the project. Okay, whatever it downloads, it's only record for the compiling and uh, uh, compiling and building the pro uh, building the package for the SAP and framework web part. Okay, project is created. Let us open the project in MVC Studio code. Okay, we have so this we open this reports folder under that the current user info is the report name. Okay, this is the TypeScript file. This is the starting point for running our uh, report. Okay, so now let us uh, download and install uh, a PNP uh, library to our project to fetch the data from SharePoint. Okay, so for that I am going to run the npm command. At PNP slash SP. PNP slash logging. This will download the uh, PNP library files into the node modules folder in the project. Yep, difference is installed. Now uh, we will open a Visual Studio code and then uh, will import that uh, PNP library into this web part. So I am going to use the import statement and the SP is a starting point for the calling this uh, PNP library. PNP Okay, this is done and then I'll create a separate method for fetching the data using the PNP library. Okay, wait and sp.web which, uh, which is the current uh, web context and then from that I am going to use current user dot get and we, use, we are using the get method for the retrieving the current user information. And then, then let me have the name as response and the current user object. Uh, this we will import this current user from the PNP SP library. You can see this current user is imported from here. Okay, and then have. Okay, now we'll console.log and then add our response here. Okay, so and then we'll call this method from the render so that. Uh, Sort get sp data. Okay, now we'll run compile our code and gulp serve and then we'll use a no browser because we are only testing with the live data, we are not testing with the mockup data. So if we are testing with mockup data, we'll use this command without no browser. Okay, so 
so we are directly so this will not open any browser we have to manually open the browser and navigate to our sharepoint workbench page and then there we will add our web part and then test it test our code okay this is yeah this is compiling and then the js file the package js file is available under localhost 4321 okay so let me open this is my sharepoint uh, tenant and i have already opened workbench page let me refresh this yeah I have refreshed let me search for the current user info yeah got it and then we have added our response in a console log we'll in investigate our uh, log yeah we have object and the current user info okay so now we will display the response in a web port instead of displaying it in uh, console.log okay for that i'm going to use okay first of all we will remove this the content and we will add our own element here pnp info as a element id okay then i'll let html element uh, this will tom element this will fetch the pnp info element based on the id okay query selector has pnp info okay this is done and then html element dot in the html here we will display our response so first of all we have to convert the json into the string format json dot string phi response okay this is done now we will run our workbench because in the back end already a gulp serve command is running so we will go directly and run this workbench yeah now you can see the response in a json format that till that is displayed in a web part okay so now we will show the the current user title alone that is display name instead of showing the entire json so for that i am using response of title okay because we already have the title under title showing as santa kumar okay i'm saving this page and then uh, make sure it's compiles yeah, it compiled and i'm referencing this page yeah we got we got the current user title okay so instead of having this rendering element in a, a get sp data so we'll create a new method under the method we'll maintain this uh, rendering information okay for that um, creating another private method render data and then uh, html value string return type as a void paste it here okay instead of response we'll use html value okay here we'll have uh, we have to call this render data method and pass our html value okay this yeah done let me run this yeah that's it okay thanks for watching this video i'll come up with another video in top of to this so stay tuned thank you thank you for watching